The landmark verdict in the Me Too movement, a New York jury today convicted Harvey Weinstein of rape and sexual assault. Now, the conviction sent the former movie producer to prison. But as Ken McLeod explains, he wasn't found guilty of the charges that could have sent him to prison for life. How are you feeling this morning, Mr. Weinstein? Shortly after he arrived for court this morning, Harvey Weinstein's fall from grace hit bottom. This is the age of empowerment of women. And you cannot intimidate them anymore. Although some 80 women have accused him of sexual assault, this case revolved around two. A production assistant who says Weinstein forced himself on her in 2006, and an aspiring actress who says he raped her in 2013. They sacrificed their privacy and self-protection knowing better than anyone the extent of Weinstein's power. Indeed, almost all of the former movie mogul's accusers have told the same story, that he forced them into sex amid harassment and threats about what could happen to their careers if they didn't comply. These survivors weren't just brave, they were heroic. Prosecutors did not get a conviction on the most serious charges, predatory sexual assault, which could have brought a life sentence instead of a possible 29 years. But outrage surrounding the Weinstein case helped kickstart a revolt, including the Me Too movement. Sexual violence thrives in silence. Those trying to combat sexual violence say much more needs to be done. We have to really think about the culture and the systems that foster and allow sexual violence to occur in the first place. As the convicted rapist headed for jail today, his ambulance was diverted to a hospital amid reports the 67-year-old was having chest pain. Still, his accusers acknowledged at least some satisfaction with the verdict. I dreamed about this. Sentencing is set for March 11th, but Weinstein's attorneys have vowed an appeal. He still faces felony sex assault charges in Los Angeles. David? All right. Ken, thank you so much.